Dak Prescott's back. So as we know, the quarterback position is not or should not be viewed anyway as as a need, let alone a glaring need, a need of any kind for this team, provided Dak is the guy that we all think he's going to be and he's healthy and all of that. That being said, as the rounds move along, later rounds, do you think, Dallas, it would make sense to draft a quarterback yeah. just to bring in someone to compete for that backup position? You know, maybe not as late as you think. If, if, you, if you look back at the history, and there's only a, two or three examples of this, but look at the fourth round as an option here. You know, back in 2009, they had, Tony Romo was in his, uh, you know, second or third year as a starter, and, and he was really, you know, the guy. He'd already had a big contract and everything. They still drafted a guy named Stephen McGee in the fourth round, and he never really developed because, again, it's hard to when, you, when your quarterback stays on the field. Um, then go back to 2016. Now, Tony was at sort of the end of his career, but they still drafted Dak Prescott in the fourth round. So that is a, that is a round of you want it, your guy to be, uh, you know, de- good enough where you can develop him as a backup, but maybe not to the point where you're not expecting him to do anything right away. So uh, they don't have a backup, really, unless you want to call Garrett Gilbert the backup or Ben DiNucci. So fourth round mm-hmm. pick or fourth, fifth, something like that. I could see the Cowboys drafting uh, a quarterback that they have a pretty good grade on because he might have to be the backup. 